So I surprised my brother with his dream gaming setup. This is how my brother's setup currently looks. And don't get me wrong, it definitely isn't bad or anything like that, but it could be a lot better. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so before I start remaking his setup, this is how it's looking right now. As you guys can see, there are a bunch of cables down below. There's not really much going on on the setup. It looks kind of plain, and this monitor isn't even turned on. He, like, literally never uses it at all. Now that the setup is completely off, all me and my brother are probably going to do is just take apart this entire setup. When I say that, I mean take the monitors off. And probably the first thing we're going to do is actually use these monitor mounts here just to make the setup look a lot cleaner. So I'm going to show you guys a time lapse of that. Alright, so this is the monitor mount that me and my brother are going to be using. It's definitely going to make the setup look a lot, a lot better. Just look overall cleaner. So, of course, we're going to show another time lapse. Alright, just a quick little update. My brother actually had to go somewhere that I really wanted to, but of course I had to film this video so that I couldn't go. But anyways, about this setup, I took the monitor mounts on both of these things off. So I'm probably just going to use these screws. I don't know if they're too small to actually use to mount monitors, but I think they should be good. So I'm going to mount this monitor, the gaming monitor. I think it's 165 hertz actually or something. I'm going to mount it on the left, my brother said he wanted, and then I'm going to mount his normal 60 hertz monitor on the right over here. So of course I'm going to put another time lapse real quick. Alright, so after five minutes or so, I finally finished setting up the first monitor. As you guys can see, right over here, looks really good already. Once this setup is finished, it's gonna look really, really good. But now we have to set up the second monitor. The only problem with the second monitor is, as you guys can see, the top bezel is in silver and it's pretty big. So it kind of makes the monitor look a little bit worse. But hey, we gotta work with it. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too long to set up this second one. Alright, so I'm not going to plug in the cables for the monitors just yet because I need to focus on cable management later. However, I'm going to add a couple more things to the setup. So as you guys can see right here, I got a new mouse pad from him. Of course, it's from Gutsy Aiden. It's the low edition. If you guys don't already know, I have so many Gutsy Aiden mouse pads and they're all really, really good. So of course, I had to get my brother one. Alright, so this is the mouse pad right here. Definitely looks really, really nice. But as you guys can see, it's a little bit dirty over here. I tried cleaning it, but I was actually using this for just a couple days and it got really, really messy. So yeah. That's kind of my bad, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, he will definitely still really, really like this mouse pad. Now, for his keyboard, it really doesn't match too much with the mouse pad because the mouse pad is kind of purple and blue, and then his keyboard's just black. So, I went ahead and bought him some Apple keycaps. I think that's how you call it. And as you guys can see, the keycaps are kind of all over the place, but it's kind of a, like a mixture of some like blue color and then some of them are kind of darker so it's like a kind of purple color and it will definitely match really really good with his uh, mouse pad and the keyboard will look a lot better it's probably going to take me quite a little bit to take out all of these keycaps here and then put in these new ones so hopefully it doesn't take like more than 15 minutes This keyboard literally just got like 100 times better. It matches this setup a lot, a lot more than I actually thought it will. And I really, really like how it turned out. Also, by the way, I made my brother join the upside down space bar gang. You already know. But anyways, apart from that, probably the next thing I'm gonna do is introduce some of the RGB lights into the setup. All right, so as many of you guys know, I have Govi all over my entire setup and they actually were kind enough to sponsor this video. So they went ahead and sent out these things called the Govi Glide Hex wall panels and look absolutely sick. I've never really seen these on other people's setups so this is really really interesting for me all right so right outside of the box it comes with 10 of these kind of hexagon shaped led panels and i'm going to show you guys when i have them all lit up all right so i'm planning to put the panels right above the setup so it's going to be somewhere over here and i'm going to remove this painting or whatever this certificate is then i'm also going to remove this neon sign because these govi hex panels are going to look so nice all right so i was just choosing what design i wanted for these panels and i'm not going to lie i think this is definitely by far the best one like i said it comes with 10 panels so I used all of them and it actually looks a lot bigger in person. I'm not gonna lie So all I'm gonna do is put this exact design right above the setup right over here and it should look really really nice
all right so i just finished setting up these govi panels as you guys can see right there and it looks a lot better in person than it does on camera it looks really blue in person but over here we have the app it was super easy for me to install it didn't take more than like two minutes this is my brother's phone too by the way but as you guys can see there are a bunch of preset colors i can choose so let's say i want to go for kind of a red as you guys can see when i tap red it's extremely blight it's like literally blinding in person but look how nice it looks it's really really makes the setup pop a lot more here if i put it at like purple for example there we go we got purple it doesn't show too purple on camera maybe yellow will show a lot more yeah as you guys can see it's super super bright and you also have a bunch of different things like down here you have more settings another really cool thing you can play around with in the app is if you click on scenes right over here you can go all the way down here go in the funny section let's say you click flow or something it will apply a really really cool effect on the little hex uh, wall panels and there's like so many different effects you can choose from but this is just an example of some another really popular effect is music mode so as you guys can see when i press it and i stop talking it completely stops but as soon as i start it just it lights up a bunch of the wall panels kind of randomly in a random order so as soon as i stop talking again as you guys can see i'm not pressing anything it just stops so that's another really cool effect another pretty cool feature you can apply is if you go on the music section here you can put something called rgbic so if you go on the energetic tab and then click on edge as you guys can see there are a bunch of kind of rgb colors that go off as soon as i'm talking but my personal favorite is just putting it on the normal color mode and then probably putting it on a, like a dark blue or something like that the next thing i'm planning to do on his setup is set up some led strips on the back of his desk like you guys seen a bunch of different setups including mine so i went ahead and bought myself some govi led strips they didn't send these out i just really really like gobi products so i of course i had to get some gobi led strips So I wrapped the entire Govi LED strip around the entire desk as you guys can see right here. It gives a really nice kind of glow from the bottom. It just adds like a really, really nice touch. But anyways, apart from that, honestly, most of everything is done. It's just that his room is super dirty. <laughs> we don't talk about that just because I was like putting so many boxes and everything all over the place. But I need to add a couple finishing touches. I also will probably just right now add the cables for both of these monitors just so they can actually turn on and everything. So I just pulled the PC out to plug in all the USBs and look at how dusty this thing is. Literally look at this man. This is, oh my gosh bro. He literally hasn't cleaned his PC in so long. Look at that. Oh my, there's so much dust. And then over here, there's still so much. Look at that. You can literally see how bad that is on camera. He really needs to clean that. All right, so this neon sign right here was originally above his setup. I'm probably gonna put it right above his PC somewhere right there. All right, so there it is. It is also a blue color like you guys saw earlier, but it's not lit up right now because the PC's not on. I connected this LED uh, little neon sign to the PC, so that's why. All right, it is literally so messy over there, so of course I need to clean it up right now. Alright, so since this mic arm is so short, I can't really put it behind the monitor and over, so I'm just gonna put it right on the side of the desk right here. Alright, so here is the microphone right over here. As you guys can see, I actually changed my plans. I was originally going to put it right there, but the wire was too short. It wouldn't run all the way to the PC, so I just mounted it right behind one of like the monitor mounts over here. So it's not directly on the back of the desk. It's mounted on one of the mounts, so it just makes it go a little bit higher. So since the arm is pretty short, it actually works out. Also, on the right over here, I added a couple things I didn't show on camera. I added like a touch lamp over here, just a simple lamp we had lying around in the house. This was my my old RGB globe over there I just gave that to him because I never really used it and then this is just like a actual globe here that he used to have on his old setup I was originally gonna do all the cables under his desk as you guys can see there definitely are a lot uh the, the light just randomly turned on um ghost question mark like I was saying there definitely are a lot of cables as you guys can see but my brother wants to use this setup as soon as possible dude what is wrong with this light like I said, my brother wants to use his setup as soon as possible, and he can't really do that because it would take like one hour for me to do the cables, so I'm probably just going to do that off camera later. The last thing for me really to do is just to turn on the PC over here, and then I'm probably going to put a really nice wallpaper up for him.
Alright, so I think I finally found the exact wallpaper I was looking for, and this setup is literally looking so much better than it was earlier today. It might just be my opinion, but I just absolutely love the blue color all over this setup, and I think it turned out a lot better than I actually expected. Alright, but now is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. I'm gonna be showing my brother his brand new gaming setup. Alright, so here's his setup, and what are your thoughts? Let me know. Dude, it's so much better, like the colorway and everything, and yo, the mouse pad is looking sick with all this, the purple and the purple and all the blue, and the wallpaper is looking kind of clean. Yeah, definitely kind of um, different wallpaper. I like the animation it has. This mouse pad is definitely a lot better than your old black one. That was super, super plain. But overall, what are your thoughts? What do you rate out of 10? You know, I would have to give it a solid 9.5. Okay, totally not biased. We, we take that. We take that. After about four hours, the setup is finally complete. It definitely took a lot longer than I thought, but I think it turned out much better than I actually expected. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, and you want to see more vlogs just like this one, make sure you guys drop a quick sub. Over 50% of you guys that watch my videos on a daily basis aren't subscribed then you can also sub at any time if you don't enjoy the content. Also, while you guys are down there, make sure you guys drop a quick like. Let's see if we can hit 8K likes. Anyways, it's been your boy Vermax. Stay safe and take care.